This is question number 24 from the Integrated Math 2 practice test for 10 red year TCAP, whatever. We're in subpart 3, so calculators are okay. The length of one side of a shoebox is 8 centimeters more than twice the width. The base of the shoebox, or the, yeah, the base of the shoebox has an area of 72 centimeters squared. Write an equation that represents the situation with W representing the width. So instead of drawing it out, I actually went ahead and pre made the rectangle a little bit save you from having to watch me scratch it in. So the length is 8 centimeters more than twice the width. More would be a word that means plus than means that I need to switch the order of the width and the 8 and twice is of course times 2. So the length is 2 times w plus 8. So I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put just w here. Now, the thing about this question is it does ask about area. It specifically talks about the area of the base of the shoebox, which would be the bottom or whatever, which makes sense because if they simply asked you about um, the shoebox itself, you can put shoes in there, so there's volume involved but they're knocking it down to a um, two-dimensional measurement. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to write the formula area equals length times width. Oops. Well, that was just terrible. I mean, I'm bad enough as it is. And then I'm going to substitute in any of the values that I need. 72 centimeters squared. And then length is, of course, 2w plus 8 times w. Now, they want me to write any equation that represents the situation with w representing the width. I'm writing it. This is essentially creating an equation in terms of w, which is what I did. I don't have to make any. Uh, there's another video where you have to actually, or you can possibly. Um, reorganize it instead of making it in terms of W you make it in terms of L and that's not really that difficult to do you just say equals L and solve and then this becomes uh, you'll solve for W and you put that value here so 2 W plus 8 equals L and then solve for W so you subtract 8 divided by 2 you put that value um, here and then you just put L here you know whatever but you don't need to do that here you're done pretty much you can decide whether you're going to leave it in this form, which should be a completely acceptable form. Likely, though, they'll want you to go ahead and perform the distribution. So you can put the W in front. You're allowed to do that because there's a multiply relationship between the term and the variable. See, there's no operator sign there. So if they're touching, they're multiplying. Apply to both. 2W squared plus 8W equals 72. You can decide whether you put the 72 in the front or the back. That's up to you. And there's your answer. Pretty easy stuff. They didn't ask you to do anything tricky, but it's a good idea to have some structure around how you set up the problem, because if they did ask you something tricky, for instance, say they wanted it uh, in terms of length for some reason, then you would do what I said before, this whole thing. You'd subtract 8 from both sides and get L minus 8. Oops, I don't know. I kind of wrote in extra stuff there. Lost my mind for a second. I mean, not that that doesn't happen constantly. W divided by 2. Width equals L minus 8 divided by 2. They don't ask you to do this here, I'm just covering all the bases. So if they wanted it in terms of L, for the W you'd put L minus 8 divided by 2 and then you'd put the L up here. You substitute those values into this and solve it. But just be careful that they're asking you the question they think they're asking because this is a really simple question to get correct as long as you know the area formula for a rectangle. Um, but it's also one that if they did a little bit of twisting that's the type of thing that they do on the actual test is twist it a little bit to change the perspective so it changes the answer. So just be careful.